Hello guys, this is Ravens from Digi Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting tech news in episode 187. Apple Watch Series 7 has been officially unveiled with a familiar design but with a bigger display and a smaller bezels. The latest smartwatch ships in 41mm and 46mm sizes and support a full keyboard and swipe support. Apple Watch Series 7 price starts at $399, its Indian price is yet to be announced. iPad Mini announced with a new design A15 Bionic chipset, 5G support and a second generation Apple Pencil support. 10.2 inch iPad comes with an A30 Bionic processor, 12 megapixel ultra wide front camera and all day battery life. The new iPad price in India starts from Rs 30,900 while iPad Mini starts from Rs 46,900. And iPhone 13 Pro features a Super Retina HDR display with ProMotion. Apple claims an improvement in a battery life of the iPhone 13 Pro. iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max comes with 5G support. Apple has revealed the Indian prices of iPhone 13 series, the new iPad mini and the 10.2 inch iPad. The iPhone 13 mini starts from Rs 69,900 and iPad mini price in India starts from Rs 46,900. Please check out the screen for the prices of iPhone 13 series, iPad mini and 10.2 inch iPad and its storage variants. Apple released iOS 14.8 update which fixes the zero-click install exploit. The bug allowed authorities to install Pegasus spyware with a simple message sent on iMessage. The Cupertino giant has also released Mac OS Big Sur 11.6 improving the security of Macs. As we inch closer to the supposed October 4 stable release of Google's Android 12, smartphone OEMs are slowly pushing their first public betas to users. Samsung has officially begun seeding its One UI 4 based on Android 12 and it is now available to Galaxy S21, S21 Plus and S21 Ultra owners. Last year, Hisense made its debut in India with the launch of multiple smart TV models and home appliances. A year later, company is now teasing to launch its second QLED TV in the country. The television will go on sale during the Flipkart Big Billion Days sale. Google Messages is developing a feature similar to Gmail's Nudge. This feature would remind users to respond to the messages they have missed replying to. Gmail got the feature called Nudge which practically does the same job of reminding people to revert to mails back in 2018. Instagram is testing a new feature where it allows users to mark their followers as favorites. The new tool will allow users to view posts from favorites higher in the feed. OnePlus 9 RT is tipped to launch on October 15th. OnePlus 9 RT specifications may include the Snapdragon 870 processor, 12GB of RAM and a 50MP Sony sensor. OnePlus 9 RT will get an Oxygen OS 12 out of the box. Realme Band 2 is expected to be the upcoming fitness tracker from Realme. This wearable was recently spotted on BIS certification website. Realme Band 2 will launch in India next month and will come in blue, black and green strap colors. Samsung Galaxy M52 teased on Amazon India. It is expected to launch later this month. It is going to come with a 6.7 inch Full HD Plus Snapdragon 778G processor and a 64 megapixel triple camera setup. A new Vivo smartphone passed through Geekbench on its way to going official. This device with a model number V2148A was benchmarked with the Snapdragon 778G chipset and according to the previous listing at the Chinese compulsory certification, this model designation matches the IQ Z5 Pro. Vivo Wireless Sport Lite will be launching in India soon. This earphones come with 11.2mm moving coil drivers with an 18 hours of battery life. Vivo Wireless Sport Lite price in India will be around Rs 2000. Xiaomi Smart TV, Q1e, Band 6, NFC and AX3000 mesh system and a smart projector too will be launching along with the Xiaomi 11 t series. Xiaomi is holding a global event on September 15th and some of this product are already available in China. Legion, the founder of Xiaomi, has just recently paid a visit to the headquarters of Fog Group in China. The visit from the CEO was apparently for talks related to a new car manufacturing partnership deal for the former's first car. Popular video conferencing platform Zoom announced a host of new features at its Zoomtopia conference. Zoom said that it is expanding its automated transcription feature to 30 languages. Apart from the live transcription feature, Zoom is all set to get the access at glance, whiteboarding and many more. 
space appears to be a new frontier for tech entrepreneurs. After Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson, it's time for Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak to join this league. Wozniak on September 13 announced that he is setting up a private space company that is unlike the others. The new company will be called as Private Space and its mission would be to keep space safe and accessible to all humankind. Wozniak, popularly known as Woz, will be establishing the company with Report co-founder Alex Fielding. Wozniak tweeted a YouTube video explaining the vision of private space. This video begins with a strong message, together we will go far. Battleground Mobile India 1.6 Flora Menens update is coming soon. This new update brings new features and exciting game improvements. Battleground Mobile India is also currently celebrating Ganesh Chaturthi till September 21st. Infinix Zero X series has been officially launched. This lineup includes Infinix X, Zero X Pro and Zero X Neo models. Infinix Zero X series price is yet to be revealed. Now let's see about the specifications of these three models. Infinix Zero X comes with a 6.67 inch 120Hz Full HD Plus AMOLED display. It will be having a 64MP triple rear camera and a 4500mAh battery with 45W fast charging support. While Infinix Zero X Pro will also be having a 6.67 inch 20Hz Full HD Plus AMOLED display, it is also coming up with the MediaTek Helio G95 processor and it has a 108MP triple rear camera and it also comes with a 4500mAh battery with a 45W fast charging support. Now let's see about the specifications of Infinix Zero X Neo. It will be coming up with a 6.78 inch 90Hz Full HD Plus display, it also comes with a MediaTek Helio G95 processor and it is also having a 48MP triple rear camera and it comes with a 5000mAh battery with an 18 watt fast charging support thanks for watching this video please kindly support my channel by giving a like share and subscribe and follow dg integrity on twitter instagram and facebook